What advice do you have for leaders in terms of, of hardwiring or continuing to infuse those values um, when the company grows to the size that you all have? I think the, the first thing is you got to document it. And it sounds trite, but you need to have that mission and vision and those core values uh, clearly articulated. You know, J and J has such a strong culture because of its credo. And if you speak to anyone that works at J and J, they can tell you that they live by that credo. Um, same with Warby Parker and our core values. When we're interviewing folks, we're looking for whether these values are already instilled in this individual, right? Is this individual self-selected Warby Parker because we have aligned values? Um, then during our onboarding, uh, we take the time to explain what, what are we trying to accomplish as a business? Um, how are we gonna accomplish that? And that's by living our core values, whether it's treat others the way they wanna be treated um, or it's being proactive and taking the first step um, or injecting fun and quirkiness in everything that, that we do, right? These are things that are core to who we are. Um, we teach people about it when they join, and then we talk about it constantly, um, and we celebrate it. So whether it's at our department leader meeting, which we have once every two weeks, we lead off with quick wins um, or learnings or hat tips, and you know, one of our core values is practice gratitude. So giving somebody a hat tip is you know, how you can bring that to life. Another one of our core values is learn, grow, repeat. So by sharing learnings, right, we're, we're trying to live those values every day. 